hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel now in this video we will learn how to draw this particular image in autocad using a rel relative cartesian coordinate system and after that we will draw the same image using polar coordinate system so without further delay let's start so this is uh, our autocad screen now the command that we are going to use is line okay first command that we are going to use is line so you can simply click uh, line here or you can simply press l click inside press l and you will see that line option will be visible to you and press enter now take a look at the command bar it's asking us uh, it's, it's asking to specify the first point now suppose that the first point uh, that uh, i want to use is 30 comma 30 now as soon as you press 30 you will see that uh, this particular uh, object this particular uh, dynamic input it is showing 30 in the first box and as soon as you press comma it will be shifted to the next one so 30 comma 30 is our starting point and take a look the line has started from 30 comma 30 now what is the meaning of relative coordinate system that in relative coordinate system what will happen your uh, previous point the first point will uh, work as the origin and as soon as you uh, shift to the next point your uh, previous point will act as the origin now we need to move in this direction by 60 units okay so if uh, the starting point if the starting point is origin now so what will be the coordinate of next point now in order to shift to uh, relative coordinate system you will have to press at the rate first then press 60 comma 0 and then enter now a line of 60 units is formed okay now you are at the second point and we need to go uh, 8 units in vertical direction so now second point is our origin so press at the rate now if we want to move in the y direction only x coordinate will be 0 and the value of y coordinate y will be 8 now take a look so this is the point that we have formed now after that what we are going to do is basically we need to move a, move in this direction and this time the length by which we need to move is 17 units so simply press at the rate now this time our origin is on the right side so we need to move on the left side so you will press minus 17 comma 0 okay so your next point is arrived uh, now the next point that we are going to draw will be again using at the rate and then we need to move vertically so x coordinate will be 0 and y coordinate will be 14 okay now in order to pan the drawing you can uh, simply press the uh, roller button of your mouse now we need to move in this direction and by 17 units so at the rate 17 comma 0 and then enter so just take a look our line is being uh, drawn now the next point is at the rate now we need to move vertically upwards so 0 comma 8 and then press enter then we need to move on the left side so your x coordinate will be negative so at the rate minus 60 comma 0 then in order to join with this particular point you can join using cursor as well just make sure that o snap is working otherwise you can uh, use the same technique press at the rate now you need to move vertically downwards by 30 units the first this one is 8 units this one is 14 units and this one is 8 units so 8 plus 8 plus 14 it's 30 units so you can press at the rate 0 comma minus 30 and then enter so this is the drawing that you can create so a very simple drawing now if you want to add dimensions you can uh, add the dimension by using these options so i'm going to select linear then select the starting point ending point and this is the dimension 
Now repeat the same dim linear command. This point, then this point, and then dimension is placed. Now, right now the text size is very large, arrow size is large, so we are going to correct that. Hold on for a moment. Now let me place all the dimensions at the required level and then we are going to do the work. Now, so what is happening here is dimension lines are uh, very similar to the outline or uh, the object line that we have created created so how how can we distinguish them so one method is select any one direct dimension right click and select similar so all the dimensions will be selected then you can go to uh, properties toolbar and instead of by layer you can change the color of the dimension okay so now dimension color is changed okay now after that the next thing that we need to adjust is how to change the size of this particular uh, text that we are seeing so you will go to annotation click on annotation and uh, click on this sign or you can type dim style as well so click on this go to modify in modify you will see that text option is there so decrease this text size you can use uh, text sizes too same case uh, same thing you can do with the arrow as well so you can decrease the arrow size as well and then click ok and then click close now take a look the dimension size is reduced the next thing that we can do is we can change the line thickness as well so these lines they are uh, very thin and if you want to make them a little bit uh, thicker so select all the similar lines now lines are selected and then you can go to properties and in this one just take a look this is for line weight so you can use the line weight command as well or another thing is you can use different line thickness but take a look the thickness is not visible to us so what you are going to do you will click on line weight settings and then you will click on display line weight display line weight and then click ok now take a look the drawing lo looks a lot prettier now so i hope it's clear now if i want to draw the same image using polar coordinates same as the previous case we will select line command specify the first point now instead of uh, uh, relative cartesian coordinates i'm going to use polar coordinates so in polar coordinates we need uh, distance or length of line and then angle of the line with respect to x-axis so length of first line is 60 now any kind of relative coordinate system will always start with at the rate now in order to shift to angle you need to press less than sign now what should be the angle it should be zero and then press enter the next thing is we need to move by eight units and at 90 degrees so at the rate eight less than 90 degree then next thing is we need to move by 17 units but this time the angle should be 180 degree because we need to select the angle with respect to x-axis then at the rate 14 units less than sine angle is 90 degree after that at the rate 17 units then less than sine now this time angle is 0 degree after that same at the rate 8 less than 90 done at the rate 60 less than 180 and then at the rate 30 less than now this time we need to move vertically downwards so either we can place 270 degree angle or you can simply place minus 90 degree as, uh, as the angle so just take a look we are done with the same drawing okay so uh, that's all for this video thank you very much and have a nice day